everybody, how is it going? I am Lucas, and today we are going to be checking out the Boss Metal Zone here on this episode of Analog versus Digital. What you just heard right there was actually the Metal Zone inside the Axe FX. Everything was straight up at noon. The default settings, didn't want to touch anything because um, I wanted to keep it completely neutral to compare it to the real pedal. So let's disable the real pedal. This is the clean setup we have. And let's actually kick on the real pedal. Everything appears to be at noon. There is a little bit of a volume drop on the real pedal. I'll probably adjust it up so you normalize it so it's fine um, after the video just so you know so it'll be a little bit even but there is a little bit of a volume drop but i find that um affecting the level on the um on the pedals on both really it adds a lot more mid so it really does affect the sound so for example on the real pedal let's crank the level a little bit As you heard, it, it did a big mid sweep on it right here. Let's disable that. Let's kick on the real, uh, let's kick on the Axe Fetch pedal. As you heard there, same thing, the level adds a ton of mids. It sounds, I find if you kind of cut it around three or so, it cuts out all those mids and it sounds really good. A little thing that's a little bit different is the tone knob on the Axe FX pedal. There's no actual um, tone knob on the real pedal and there's nothing really that even kind of comes close. It sort of kind of acts like the volume, um, whenever you turn up the volume. Let me, I'll let you hear it real quick. As you can hear, sweeping it like that, it sounds crazy. It gives it a nice big sweep. Another thing that's different on this pedal too is the drive. So um, the drive goes insane quickly. It corresponds to the distortion knob that's on the real pedal. So uh, well, just, just listen. As you can hear, once you get past one and a half on the Axe FX pedal on the M Zone, it goes crazy, and it, it, it's pretty much maxed out, which is uh, which is which is pretty crazy. Let's disable um, the Axe FX pedal. Let's go back to the analog pedal, and let's uh, let's mess with the distortion a little bit. It's kind of give you a comparison. As you can hear in the real pedal, you have a little bit more leeway whenever it comes to the distortion pedal. So enough of playing around with these settings. Does this pedal actually sound decent? The answer to that question is going to be yes. Uh, I was playing around with it before. Um, and these are the settings that I stumbled upon that actually, um, it sounds pretty, uh, pretty decent. We're gonna do the uh, Axe FX first. That's what it sounds like with both of them engaged. Let's turn off the real pedal and this is the Axe FX. That was the Axe FX pedal. Let's disable that real right quick, fast, and in a hurry. 
Uh, let's turn this one on. I actually came up with some settings earlier. I actually took a picture of it real quick. Let me dial that up real quick to save some time. Definitely want to turn the distortion down that I find. Now I find whenever you get this all nice and set up, I find it kind of sounds like a poor man's rectifier. I know I'm kind of insulting the rectifier by saying that, but that's kind of what it, it sounded like to me anyway. So moment of truth, how does this sound? <laughs> It doesn't sound half bad. It, it really doesn't. It Now, I know in the 90s, everyone had one of these pedals. I actually didn't get one until like just last year, which which is kind of amazing to me because I guess I never really had a need for one because when I was growing up, I always used my Johnson J Station. So pretty much everyone had one of these. It was the de, de facto distortion pedal to go to that everyone had. and. It does have extreme sweeps on it, which I think that's why it sounds so bad. You just kind of have to work with it. If you put it in the return effects loop, and the re in the return spot of an effects loop on a tube band, it doesn't sound half bad. It doesn't sound as bad as a rep that it has got. Anyway, I I enjoy doing this. I, this was just for fun because I just wanted to see how accurately it was modeled from the pedal to the actual axe effects. Which one did you think sounded the best? Did you like the Axe FX? Did you like the analog pedal? Did you, need did you like neither? Let me know in the comments down below. As for me, I'm going to have to be out. Peace.